Okay, this is probably the best spot that I've found to actually use this glitch to get unlimited tribute points. As you can see, I've got 75. I've been doing this a little while. Now, this will work for tribute, spell. You don't really need... I wouldn't bother with spell points. You'll get enough of them automatically. And the health potions. Now, normally, you find a chest. You open it up. Let's say you find a health potion. The trick here is when you know where the chest is, you save your game, you open up the chest, you do not take the health or the attribute point, you let you die. Now when you go back, you can take the potion or the attribute point, and then you die again, go back, and you'll be able to rinse and repeat that. <clears throat> now, at the eighth time, it won't let you take it anymore. And there's a way to f to reset this in order to continuously to con to infinite as or as many as you want. All right. Now this here is the DLC for the ancient labyrinth. Now the way you do the way you get to the ancient labyrinth is you talk to the blacksmith. He will transport you here. So I'm going to show you, <clears throat> now when you first come here, this is what you see. There's a save point right here. This is the labyrinth. Now this chest is locked. It's, as you go through, you'll find a key. The moment you find the key to unlock this chest, you'll be good to go. See, I took it. Now, as soon as you take the attribute shard, this is why this is the quickest one, because down here in the labyrinth, it's, it's a one-shot kill. Plus, I have all my armor off. Bam! Sucker does 360 points damage without any armor or anything on So we're going to run over here. I see it will not allow me. That was my that was my eighth shard. So no matter what you do, you will not be able to pick that shard up. Now, this is the important part. What you need to do is leave the area. So after you've gotten your eight attribute shards, oh, by the way, 30 health potions, more than enough. You come over Greetings here, you talk to, to the blacksmith. You in a moment of eternity, traveler. Is there anything? Take me out of here. So you've gotten your eight attributes. Now, this will work also in the regular game, too. Um. It's the same principle. Basically, you get your eight attribute points. You then leave the area in a new loading screen, you know, different area. This is why this one is so easy, because everything is right here. You'll recognize this in the very beginning. Save your game. This is where you for fight the first, bo um, uh, sorry, second boss. Now, after you save your game, now I don't know if the video is going to exit out, you're going to quit to the main menu. So we're quitting to the main menu. Well, so far it hasn't said it's done. 
As soon as it goes, you're going to continue your same game. Now it's important you do these steps. Sticking my darn armor on. Go back, talk to the blacksmith. Greetings to you. Take me to wherever. Now, this is the most important part here. So, you get your eight attribute points from here. You leave, you save your game, you exit to the main menu, you then come back in. Save your game again in this area and then die. Kiss me! Now nah, you're ugly. This is just reset the chest with the attribute stones in it. And now you now I can get eight more tribute. And then rinse and repeat as many times as however you want. So the nice thing about this is it's so quick and easy in the DLC. You got the chest right there, you got the save point right there, you run down to the ghost, he kills you with one shot, and then you exit, and then there's another save point. Don't try to take more than one, if you do it'll disappear. Tell you what, these skeletons. They are a pain in the butt. Get out of here. Ah. Even in armor, they're a pain in the butt. I was going to try to go through and show you the guy that you need to kill, and he's really tough. We can make it through. Ah, should I put my armor on? Oh, get out of here. This guy right here, 
he drops you the key. And he's a pain. He is tough. Oh. Look at him. <laughs> he drops the key to open that chest. But, like I said, even in full armor, these guys are tough. So, when you get to that point, just don't jump in here when you're real low level. Because you will die very quickly. Instant. And they're quick, too, those stupid skeletons. They just, like... And they dodge, they roll around. Alright, when you're going through, when, if you open up each level, run back and save the game, because I've already... I don't know why, but... Rotating the wall doors and stuff causes it to, um... Oh, it was weird. Whoops. And you gotta keep an eye out on those coffins. It's not particular. I mean, it's okay. Assuming I'm gonna get a full set. Let me show you here. Uh, but it, concentrated medium armor. Looks pretty good, right? Look at that. And it's got gives you uh, eight for magic defense, but it only gives you eight armor in comparison to the fallen headgear, which gives you 29. And let's face it, I'll be honest with you, most of the time. You're, you're going on physical. Remember, it was in a one hit with that ball. One helmet, look at the difference. I would have been dead without this helmet already. Come on, use the magic. Right. Didn't get a chance. This is my third playthrough on this. I'm getting the uh, cleric. I mean, if you really want to have... Okay, so, here we go. Let's go to the side. Takes it easier. I do believe that'll be my eighth one. I mean, I've already played through this rogue. I actually played through as warrior. I thought I was playing through as cleric. Now see? That shot would have killed me before. See? So that helmet with an eight actually protects you pretty darn good. Come on!
All right, so. Cannot take it anymore. It's done. Eighty four tribute shards. So, what do we do? Take me out of here. Get your tribute shards. Leave the area. Save the game. Exit to the main menu. Reload. Go back to the area where the chest is. Save it in that area. Then die. And then you can get eight more tribute shards. I know, it seems like a lot of work, doesn't it? Well, you could do that or you can grind. Come on, alright. The higher up you go, the more experience points it takes to level up. And when I say a lot of experience points, I mean a lot of experience points. Um, on my, what I thought was my cleric, the warrior, I need like 250,000 experience points just to get one more level. One of the best grinding spots, one of the best grinding spots that I found nets you approximately 5,000 experience points. About a minute and 20 seconds. Greetings to you. Take me to... So... And I did that in my first game. I also did that in my second game because I could only get the... Uh, every time I tried this, it just I kept messing it up. Now remember, when you come back to the new area, save the game. Then die. Let's see. One shot with nothing on equals instant death. Boom, and it's reset. Now, let's try. Let's put the Fallen on. Which gives me a 1 for magic defense. Still instant death. It's also nice to test out different pieces of uh, armor and stuff on something like this. Try the concentrated, which actually this is the first piece you get in the crypt. Ah. Now that one was an instant death before. 
So, wow, eight works really well. takes a little bit of help. That's good to know. Do a little mix and match there. Oh, 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 shoot. I almost forgot to grab the shard. So, there you go. In an area, so we're gonna recap. So, you're in an area, you find a chest with an attribute stone. why it's always important to save whenever you're going to new areas. If you find a chest, do not open it until you save. So that way if you open it and you take it and you find it's a tribute, you can reload it. The chest won't be opened. You open the chest. You die. You go back. You pick up eight shards. You then exit that area. You go into a brand new area. Save your game. Quit to main menu. Reload. Go back into this area, the area where the chest was. Save your game. Die. And it resets the chest and you can continuously get, you can continuously get shards however many you want now i'm going to recommend that if this is your first time playing this don't do it play through um i've got a video there's there's two grind there's two decent spots for grinding um Grind a little bit, get your experience points up, and quite frankly, you're not going through this, like I said, even in full armor, these guys are really tough. So if you try to do this right in the beginning, you're not going to make it. You're not going to get to that third level where that guy in the arm with that guy with the big axes. You will die. So, there we go. Tribute point glitch infinite. Get as many as you want. Me, since this is my third playthrough, I'm doing this. I already did grinding enough. I'll say that for the next video. Okay, let's put this up. <laughs> 